Hello world, recently I made a video on how North Korean state sponsored hackers were targeting legitimate white hat hackers. This white hat versus black hat campaign involved members of the North Korean hacker group Lazarus posing as security researchers. After building trust with genuine security researchers, a malicious Visual Studio project would be sent to the white hats. Disguised as an exploit proof of concept, the malicious files were actually far from proof of concept and would create a backdoor on the victim's PC, allowing for remote access by the attackers. It's unclear exactly how many researchers were ensnared in that particular trap. Though Lazarus doesn't give up, a few months later it would seem they're now back at it again, this time with a different, but albeit similar plot, to lure legitimate white hat hackers into unknowingly handing over access to their PC. But what's the impetus for these machinations, and were they successful? That's coming up in today's video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. The scheme was centered around the fake website the perp set up. Secure Elite claimed to be a company based in Turkey, which offers pen tests, software security assessments, and exploits. They did a fairly decent job in making the site look believable, and also set up a myriad of fake Twitter and LinkedIn accounts purporting to be security researchers, affiliating these with the company website in order to lend it credibility. The exact game plan here isn't quite clear, as Google, who spilled the beans on this plot, their synopsis of events isn't too detailed. However, my best guess is that this website was a base of operations for the tricksters to set up a bogus recruitment operation. They would get in touch with security researchers claiming to be recruiters, using their website as a facade to gain trust before somehow injecting the victim's computers with nasty code. The previous campaign from a few months prior featured a malicious website utilizing Internet Explorer exploits. In other words, simply by visiting the website with Internet Explorer could get you hacked. Add that to the list of reasons not to use Internet Explorer. I would suspect and hope that the population of security researchers using IE is small enough such that barely anyone was hacked through that vector, but you never know. Google says they haven't observed this new website wielding any browser exploits, however they've added it to Google Safe Browsing as a precautionary measure. The website does seem to still be up, though I'm not willing to go check it out and nor should you. Given North Korea has a history of using browser exploits, you're playing Russian roulette by even visiting it with any browser. You may be wondering how we know this campaign is North Korean linked. I wonder this also. Google hasn't provided any reasoning here other than to simply assert attribution to a government-backed entity based in North Korea. It would be nice if they did elaborate on that a bit. North Korean hackers does make for a good video title, I'll admit, but preferably I'd like to be able to qualify that in some way. There is one tiny piece of evidence I can see that suggests North Korea might be behind this. One of the phony LinkedIn profiles bore the name Sebastian Lazarescu. The North Korean group said to be behind this is called Lazarus. Lazarescu, Lazarus, see the connection. This is either a mediocre false flag or top tier trolling. Let me know which you think it is down in the comments. Let's assume that North Korea has masterminded this. Why go to these lengths to hack legitimate security researchers? Well, North Korea has grown prolific over the past decade for high profile hacks. It's become their forte, with the US Assistant Attorney General even referring to North Korea as a crime syndicate with a flag. It shouldn't come as much of a shock that knowledge of vulnerabilities is pretty important to cyber criminals as it increases their potential overall attack surface. Hence why security researchers, aka white hat hackers, are being targeted. If you can steal their research and repurpose it for malicious intent, those vulnerabilities could prove invaluable in future hacking campaigns. I couldn't help but notice one of the comments on the Ars Technica article on this topic, that this shows just how poor North Korea is, that they have to target random security researchers for ammunition rather than just focusing on their actual targets. The only non-North Korean linked example of researcher focused hacking I could find was an incident attributed to the Russian hacking group Fancy Bear, though that seems to have been a one-off and happened a few years ago. So was this whole campaign successful? No one has come forward to say they were a victim of this plot, so there's zero publicly known victims, though as usual we can't be certain. The social media accounts linked to this operation have since been suspended, though I can't imagine this is the last time we'll see security researchers in the sights of state-sponsored hackers. Speaking of things you won't see the last of, Maltronics is a store run by myself where you can find an array of super cool pen testing hardware. We supply our gear to universities, pen testers, students, and potentially you. You can find out more at the link in the video description. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube AI and turn on those sub notifications so you're notified instantly of any new hacking news. As always, stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.